Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another maths lesson. This is a requested video by some of my students to do a lesson on surveying. So the maths involved in surveying, what is surveying? Well, I thought I'd provide a quick definition for you guys so you know that this is the right video. So the surveying that we're talking about is the process of examining and recording the area and features of a piece of land. So it's used for drawing maps and things like that. So if you're thinking of surveying when you hand out surveys to ask, you know, who they're voting for at the next election, that's definitely not this video. This is more about measuring the distance between things in real life, measuring the area of a block of land and so on. So let's start by talking about the first concept that you need to learn for surveying, uh, for maths in surveying. So the first thing you need to be able to do is you need to be able to calculate the perimeter and area of regular shapes. So what are some regular shapes? Well, the most basic shape would be a triangle. Because if you think about it, just about every shape can be broken up into small triangles. Squares, rectangle, um, trapezium, just any shape. You just cut it up into triangles. So if you can find the area of a triangle, um, that's going to help you to be able to find the area of just about any regular shape. So let's try and find the area of a triangle. So here's a simple triangle. Let's give you guys some measurements. Let's give you guys the perpendicular height from the base to the tip of the triangle. Let's say the height is 10 meters. Right, we're dealing with blocks of land now. So our lengths will be measured in meters. And let's say the base of the triangle is, let's say, um, 20 meters. All right, just making numbers up right now. Just pretend that you're given this on the exam. So if we want to find the area, then that will be area equals base times height divided by 2. That is the area of a triangle. Now, sometimes you will see some different formulas such as half times base times height they mean exactly the same thing they'll give you the same answer so um, if we go 20 times 10 divided by 2 then that will give us 200 divided by 2 which is if you type that into your calculator 100 meters squared Right, and if you want to do it this way, you can also type that into the calculator. So you type 1 divided by 2, which will give you 0 0.5 times 20 times 10, which will give you um, two, 0 0.5 times 20 is 10 times 10, which is 100 meters squared. Same thing. So that is the area of a triangle. Okay, so now it's easy to find the area of a triangle where we have the base and the perpendicular height. But your next question must be, what if we get given a triangle without a perpendicular height? Such as this triangle right here. You can see that we have the three side lengths. We have 15 meters. Um, and because this side has a mark um, on it as well as the right hand side, so it's an isosceles triangle, which means the left hand side must also be 15 meters. So to get the area of this triangle, um, what you need to do is you need to cut this triangle in half, cut this triangle in half, and then you can find the perpendicular height in the middle of the triangle. Okay, because only because it's an isosceles triangle, we can cut it in half. If it's not an isosceles, then you can't just split down the middle. So for example, 
if the triangle is like this, where um, the right hand side length is not the left hand side length, then you won't be able to just cut it in half like that um, and do what I'm about to do. Okay, so the reason why we can cut it in half is because if you have a look at the bottom length is 10 meters. So we can simply divide the 10 meters by 2 and then we will have 5 meters on each of these sides. So you can simply use Pythagoras theorem, if you guys remember that, to find out the height in the middle. So to find this height in the middle, we have Pythagoras theorem. If you guys remember, we have a right angle triangle. So A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So you simply write that down. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And we have C is 15. We have A is H. So we don't know what H is. And we have B is 5. So plus 5 squared. So we can simply rearrange this formula to make H the subject. So H squared is equal to 15 squared minus 5 squared. And we type that into the calculator, which will give us 200. And then H will be the square root of 200. And if you type that into the calculator, you will get 14.14 blah, blah, blah. So now you can simply substitute the number for H into where H is in the triangle, 14.14 meters, and simply find the area of this right angle triangle. So the area is uh, base times height divided by two, and um, that is simply, um, so the base is 10 meters, so 10 times 14.14 divided by two, type that into the calculator and you should have 70.7 um, meters squared. Okay, so let's do one without my help and see if you can do it. Okay, so I have a look at this question right here. We have a triangle with isosceles, uh, with, sorry, with uh, a pair of equal sides and see if you can find the area of the triangle and come back when you're done. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this triangle into half. Remember, you can only do this with isosceles triangles because then you can divide the base length into 2. So 40 divided by 2 is 20. So now each of these sides is each of these halves has a base of 20 meters. So you can simply use Pythagoras theorem. This is C, this is A or B. A or B doesn't matter which one's which. So this is A. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. C is equal to 60. B is equal to 20. And we have no idea what A is. So to figure out A, we have to rearrange the equation. 60 squared minus 20 squared. Type that into the calculator. And the answer is 3,200. So A is the square root of that, which is square root of 3,200 is um, 56.56 meters okay so to get the area of this triangle it'll simply be half times base times height so that's half times now the base of this whole triangle is still 40 so base is equal to 40 and the height is equal to h is the a value which we have found 56.56 so put all that into the calculator. 
And the answer is 1,131.2 meter squared. Okay, so that concludes our first lesson on finding the area of isosceles triangles um, using Pythagoras theorem and the area of a triangle formula. Hopefully you guys understand what's happening. See you guys next time.